So next question is consider a silicon p-n junction diode having conductivity at p side equal to this much and at n side equal to this much. The diffusion length for the electrons is uh, this and for the holes is this. This p-n junction is powered by, by applying a 0.6 volt. The ratio of hole diffusion current to the electron diffusion current to crossing the junction is. So first of all try to write what information has been given to us. We have been given the conductivity at the p side. So, conductivity at the P side is sigma P. This is equal to, according to question, this value is 8 ohm centimeter inverse. 8 ohm centimeter inverse. We know that conductivity of P type semiconductor can be written as acceptor concentration Q into mobility of P type semiconductor. Let us suppose this is equation number 1. Similarly, conductivity at the n side is also given to us and that value is given to this value is given to us 3 ohm centimeter inverse. So, it is 3 ohm centimeter inverse. This can be written as nd donor concentration q into mu n. This you know. We can neglect the contribution of the electrons in the P side and we can neglect the contribution of holes in conductivity at the N side and then uh, conductivity because of the majority carrier. Majority carrier concentration is almost equal to the doping concentration that we have used in developing these two equations. Few more information is given to us. The other information is that the diffusion length for electrons is 0.2 ohm centimeter. So, diffusion length for the electron uh, 0.2 centimeter. Diffusion length for the electrons is 0 0.2 centimeter. And uh, diffusion length for the holes is also given. G diffusion length for the holes is 0 0.1 centimeter. So, that is LP. LP is 0 0.1 centimeter. And applied voltage BA is uh, 0.6 volt. It is forward bias and applied voltage is 0.6 volt. Next, the ratio of hole diffusion current to the electron diffusion current crossing the junction. So, for this condition, the ratio of hole diffusion current to the electron diffusion current. Let us suppose hole diffusion current is IP and electron diffusion current is IN. We need to calculate this ratio. In a forward bias p-n junction, we know that ki the current and voltage relationship is given like this. For a forward bias p-n junction, this is a forward bias p-n junction. Let us suppose applied voltage is Va and the current would be flowing from this side p to n side and this current i is equal to is e to the power Va upon Vt minus 1. Generally, this equation is written like uh, this. I A, uh, I S e to the power V A upon eta B T minus 1. This kind. Eta is known as ideality factor. Eta is equal to 1 for ideal diode. Ideal diode. Although eta is written equal to 1 for the germanium diode and eta is equal to 2 for the silicon diode. But if nothing mentioned, we will consider it as an ideal diode and for that case, eta is equal to 1. In this question, nothing has been mentioned or they mentioned silicon or germanium. Anything has been mentioned? Ah, silicon p-n junction he has mentioned. So, uh, if silicon or germanium is mentioned, then eta is equal to 1 for germanium diode and eta is equal to 2 for silicon diode. So, in the question he is mentioning that we have to calculate all these things for the silicon diode. So, for the case of silicon diode I is equal to I s e to the power V a upon 2 V t minus 1 V t is thermal voltage. Where I s is known as reverse saturation current and the value of is a q 
एन आई स्क्वायर अपॉन डी पी एल पी एन जी डी एन एल एन एन ए दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एस सो इफ वी पुट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ आई एस वी कैन राइट दिस इक्वेशन एज आई एस इन प्लेस ऑफ आई एस वी कैन राइट ए क्यू एन आई स्क्वायर डी पी अपॉन एल पी इन टू एन डी प्लस डी एन अपॉन एल एन इन टू एन ए एंड दिस इज ई टू दी पावर वी ए अपॉन टू वी टी माइनस वन यू विल गेट सेवरल क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस रिलेशनशिप सो लेट इज ट्राई टू सॉल्व द गिवेन प्रॉब्लम दिस इक्वेशन कैन बी फर्दर रिटर्न एज ए क्यू एन आई स्क्वायर डी पी एल पी एन जी एंड दिस इज ई टू दी पावर वी ए अपॉन टू वी टी माइनस वन वाई टू वी टी बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सिलिकन सिमिलरली ए क्यू एन आई स्क्वायर डी एन डी एन अपॉन एल एन इन टू एन ए e to the power va upon 2 vt minus 1 right this portion is denoting whole diffusion current let us suppose ip and this portion will denote electron diffusion current let us suppose in total current is sum of a whole diffusion current as well as electron diffusion current ip is whole diffusion current crossing the junction whole diffusion current and in is electron diffusion current according to our question we need to calculate the ratio of these two currents and you will get several time problems related with this concept sometimes we used to say uh, the ratio of uh, whole diffusion current density to the electron diffusion current density so current density will be what ip upon a that is current per unit area a is area of the junction all other terms are very known to us now please try to solve according to our question we need to calculate ip upon in so what will be the value of ip upon in ip upon in and this value can be given as this is given as ip is a q n i square dp upon lp n d and this e to the power va upon 2 vt minus 1 a q n i square upon l n into n d e to the power v a upon 2 v t minus 1 no matter what voltage is applied these two will get cancelled because the applied voltage is same now we are having a q uh, sorry this d p is d n is here right so few factors will cancel out aq and i square aq and i square will get cancel out please solve this when you solve this ip upon in and that comes out something like this ln nd dn sorry ln nd dp no uh, this is aq and i square dp lp upon nd and this is aq na sorry this i have uh, written wrongly aq and i square dn ln into na this should be na right so this will come out as na this is n here lp nd this is nd nd and this is dn right i have told you somewhere the einstein relationship einstein relationship says that ki d by dn by mu n 
is equal to Vt and this must be equal to dp by mu p, right? So from this relationship, dn is equal to mu n into Vt and dp is equal to mu p into Vt. We can write ip upon in that is equal to ln na mu p Vt divided by lp nd mu n into Vt. So Vt, Vt will get cancel out. You can write this relationship something like this ln upon lp isn't it into let us multiply by q any q mu p let us divide by q also nd q mu n q q will get cancel n into mu p and d into mu n we are having so this ratio comes out what is this this is sigma p and this is sigma n so ip upon i n is equal to ln upon lp sigma p upon sigma n and these values are known to us sometimes he may give you the ratio of resistances then uh, resistivities then also you can calculate so so many types of questions can be framed from this concept one type i have discussed here and that is given like this right so ln by lp is given to us ln is 0.2 lp is 0.1 so it is 0.2 divided by 0.1 into sigma p upon sigma n is also given to us sigma p is 8 and sigma n is 3 so 8 by 3 you solve this 2 by 1 that is uh, 16 by 3 16 by 3 will come out uh, 5 point something so 16 by 3 that comes out 5.33 so answer for this question is given by 5.33 is there um, any option available 5.33 let us have a look yes option d would be the right choice for this question so we would be moving for the op option d we need to Keep in mind this relationship. This is very important relationship. Eta is equal to 1 for ideal diode. Eta is equal to 1 for germanium diode. Eta is equal to 2 for silicon diode. Why in case of germanium diode, eta is just like the ideal diode? This I used to discuss in class. Actually, uh, this eta uh, uh, is coming into the picture to consider the uh, recombination inside the depletion region. So that is a different theory which is uh, not required to be discussed here. You just need to know these values. If it is mentioned we have silicon diode, we can go eta is equal to 2. And if it is mentioned we have germanium diode, we can go for the eta is equal to 1. If nothing is mentioned, then we can assume ideal p-n junction. And for ideal p-n junction, eta is equal to 1. This is our current and voltage relationship far up forward bias p n junction if the junction is reversed bias then v a will become negative it will become like this so here you can apply a negative sign and here also you can apply a negative sign because the current will be flowing like this so this equation will become uh, for the current flowing into the reverse bias for a certain voltage greater than Vt, you will find that ki this exponential term become negligible and the current would become constant independent of the applied reverse bias voltage. And that's why this IS is known as reverse saturation current. This reverse saturation current is a very strong function of temperature. It doubles for every 10 degree centigrade increase in temperature. So in previous year gate questions, you may get certain questions on this concept also. Ki IS, this IS is also represented by I0, right? Reverse saturation current or leakage current of a PN junction. So IS at any temperature T2 is equal to 2 to the power T2 minus T1 divided by 10 into IS at any temperature T1. It means what for every 10 degree centigrade, the reverse saturation current across a PN junction diode will double.